Okay, we're going to talk about the glomerular filtration apparatus and answer the questions, what three structures comprise this filtering apparatus and what do they filter? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So the glomerular filtration apparatus, I'm, I'm laughing because I've tripped on that word so many times and I just said it right. And I just messed it up. I'm going to keep going anyways. All right. It's made up of three things. A fenestrated glomerular capillary, a shared glomerular basement membrane that I'll abbreviate GBM, and the podocyte foot processes with filtration slits. That was fun. Let's do it again, except with this illustration. Here's one glomerular capillary in cross-section with a red blood cell in the middle for reference. It's lined by endothelial cells, just like, in fact, any capillary in the body is lined with endothelial cells. But this is a specific classification of capillaries called fenestrated capillaries. They have fenestrations. Like in French, the word fenestra means window. These have windows in its wall that'll, that help with the filtering. So let's pretend we're in the lumen of the glomerular capillary looking along its wall. This is what it looks like. This is a scanning EM at 10,000 magnification. All of those openings, those circles, are what is helping from the internal surface, the very first part of the filtering mechanism that the glomerulus does. It's small, those openings are small enough for plasma and solutes, but not large pre proteins like albumin or red blood cells or white blood cells. Next are the podocytes, and the prefix podo means foot, like a podiatrist is a foot doctor. Podias, podiasist, podiasist, podiasist. <laughs> Podocytes have foot processes. Oh, what a morning. And these foot processes interdigitate with other podocytes to make filtration slits. So here's the third element. I've gone from the internal to the outside. And so let's now look on the outside of um, this filtering apparatus. Here we have a, a scanning EM. This is at 5,000 magnification. There's a podocyte. And Poto means foot because there's the foot processes and between interdigitating foot processes of adjacent podocytes are these filtration slits. There's the third, the last portion of our glomerular filtering apparatus. So the podocytes and endothelial cells have a shared glomerular basement membrane, GBM, sometimes just called the basal lamina. And it's comprised of type 4 collagen, negatively charged heparin sulfate, and it further helps to um, uh, filter plasma. Uh, in this picture, there is showing the arrow is just showing a part of the uh, the podocytes and filtering mechanisms. So in this scanning, or, or just in this EM, there is the nucleus of a podocyte, and then there's part of its foot processes. And then from those foot processes, there's the shared glomerular basement membrane, and there's the fenestrated endothelial cells, and then there is the uh, lumen of the glomerular capillary where plasma would be, and there's the other site of this longitudinal section of endothelial cells, and then down here, I think this is the mesangium. I think that might be a mesangial cell. All right, so now let's take this rectangular area and blow it up and pull it over here and look at just at higher magnification. There are the foot processes and the SD is showing the filtration slits. Here is the uh, endothelial cells. The FE is for fenestrated epithelium and there is the shared glomerular basement membrane. So Bowman space is where ultimately plasma is going to go. So our plasma starts in the lumen of the glomerular capillary and then filters through first the fenestrations, next through the shared glomerular basement membrane, and finally through the filtration slits of foot processes of podocytes and ends in Bowman space as filtrate. So there are the three parts of the glomerular filtration apparatus. This is what ensures the passage of plasma and solutes like glucose, sodium, bicarbonate, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chloride, and so forth, but prevents the passage of blood cells, red and white blood cells, and large proteins like albumin that we want to retain in the plasma. So this process of filtration is the transfer of water and solutes from the plasma through the three parts of the glomerular filtration apparatus into Bowman space. It's powered by the energy from the heart, the mean arterial pressure, and its rate is governed by Starling's forces, hydraulic pressure and oncotic pressure. And that, my friends, is the glomerular filtration apparatus in a nutshell.